All right, Rob. Uh, three words: outright whack champions. Yeah. <laughs> Describe the roller coaster ride uh, of emotions that uh, that you and your team went through in last week's 17 to 16 victory over Central Catholic here at home. Man, I don't know if we could do it in an eight-minute video. Um, it, it's it was all over the place. I mean, it, you know, the highs of coming out, uh, you know, just to start the game and the emotions that go into that part of it. And you know, with senior night and that type of thing, and um, you know, the old, the amazing fan base that we had with us uh, that night, and, and then the, the up and down of the game, and going in at halftime with the lead, coming out uh, just as fired up as we were when we came, when we started the game, um, you know, all the way down to the probably the two most exciting plays of the whole game were two fumbled snaps. I mean, it, it, nobody would have thought that. I, I, I think uh, we talked about it before. You know. Uh, who wrote the script? And you know, it's like who wrote the script for for Friday and, and changed it during the game as this, as as the game went on. So, uh, just the ultimate roller coaster for sure. Um, but there's so many storylines that could go, you know, they can be told with this thing for years. The response from the community, uh, you know, has been overwhelming since Friday night. You know, why do you think this town, or excuse me, why do you think this win, you know, means so much to this town? And uh, and, and what can you say to Kind of, uh, you know, obviously the bleachers were jam packed. You know, what can you say about the the support this team's gotten over the season? Well, in the eight years that we've been doing this, uh, you know, we haven't had uh, the sniff of a championship in since uh, since '95. Um, we shared it '95 in similar fashion, in a, in a come from behind um, uh, type of you know last kind of minute win uh, versus Ripon in '95, and it was at home. Um, so that was very similar. And before that, 1968. So I mean, that's a long time, you know. And you got some of these other schools around the area that we, we keep playing year in year out, and they've got banners hanging in their gyms. We go, you know, basketball games and volleyball games. Our parents, you know, and parents and fans, and everybody sees the banners, the league championships, that type of thing. And we don't have one. And um, we haven't. Well, we've had, we got it, but it's just been so long since we've been able to say anything about it. And um, it's almost like we're the forgotten, and so when you have a special year like we're having, and and um, with this group of hardworking kids, and they they go in and put in the effort, and they get the rewards of you know what you've been telling them the entire year, it finally pays off, and it works, and it clicks. Um, it's just it, it, you know, that that big um, the big uprising at the end. I mean, that's that's what you want, and that's that's really what this town I think has been. Um, Kind of yearning for for so long is in and and we're a one high school town. I mean that that comes into play as well. Um, I think if we're split, it doesn't it doesn't mean as much. Uh, it's going to mean something, but not as much as when you have one uh, one high school and the high school's name is the name after the town. I mean you don't have you know a president's name you know high school. You don't have um, a, an area you know a, like a district area as a high school you have the town's name is the, is the high school name. And I think that kind of all just plays in together. Uh, let's talk about um, your playoff game this week. You know, you're at home. Uh, you're a number two seed going up against the number 15 in Sierra of, uh, Sierra of Manteca. Uh, talk about switching gears from the elation of Friday night to practice throughout this week in preparation for this first round game. Yeah, I mean, there's no, I mean, there's, there's really, you try to turn around and, and Saturday was back to work. We're trying to figure out, one, who we were going to play, uh, two, you know, uh, exchanging films on, on, on with Sierra. And so we can get to work and break those guys down and, and figure out what we need to do to, to come out on top, of, you know, again. And so, um, like I told the guys uh, on Monday, you know, when you get the playoffs, everybody's, everybody that's in the playoffs, they're in there for a reason. They're all good. Um, they wouldn't be in the playoffs if they weren't. And so we don't even look at the two and the 15. Uh, and, and what I've done actually is because it's so easy when a bracket comes out, the first thing people want to do is see where everybody else fits and where everybody else is at. And so what we've done is taken the bracket. And the good thing about being on the bottom of the bracket is folded it down, hid every other game on our bracket, and tacked that up on our bulletin board because that's the only game that matters. Um, and so. They're our driving force, obviously, and, and we're at home. We don't want to have another. We don't want to have a letdown from, you know, the ultimate game that we had on Friday to um, to any sort of a letdown this Friday. We want to keep this thing going, and we know as a two seed, we're going to have as long as we keep winning, we're going to have home games. Um, and if everything goes according to the plan, we don't travel until the championship game at Sac State. So 
Um, we know where we're going to be. Uh, we just got to make sure our kids' mindset is on our opponent for that week. Um, from you know, a little information I've been scrambling together about Sierra, uh, it looks like they like to air the ball out. Mm -hmm. um, maybe a little bit akin to, to what Downey does, maybe. Um, you know, what what do you expect to see from the Timberwolves on Friday night? Well, you know, actually, they actually average more rushing than they do passing. Um, they they spread you out to try and, and get you out in space on one on one matchups. Um, and then they're going to figure out, based upon your coverage, based upon your defense, what they want to do. They want to run the ball, they want to pass the ball, and then they throw in some screens too. So they try to keep you honest on your blitz. And uh, it's a thing where our guys have to uh, really get, you know, disciplined this week as, um, you know, as the game will speed up a little bit in terms of their offense because they like to do just like Downey does kind of with, um, with the no huddle stuff. So it's, it's a change up from what we've seen recently. Um, in terms of the, the speed and the tempo. Um, but when it comes down to it, we, we'll, what they're going to be doing is stuff that we've seen throughout the year. We just have to get better at, at, at how we adjusted earlier on and that type of thing. And so um, they play very aggressive defense. Uh, they're very solid uh, uh, run defense. They like to like, just bring more people, more people to where you're running. I mean, they want to they wanna do, uh, they like run blitzes type of thing. So. Um, you know, we, we need to be be able to come out and just as fired up on, you know, the start of the game as we came out uh, as any other game and um, take care of business and, and set the tone for our style of football. Maybe last question. Um, talk about the importance of, of being here at home. You know, you've traveled in recent years to, you know, as far as Jackson, as far as Benicia. You know, you're going to have your hometown crowd here. You know, but, what, is, that a, is that a big advantage for you guys or is that an advantage at all? I'll tell you what, if we can get the crowd out there, Friday that we had out there for the last Friday, then it's a huge advantage. That, that is one of the biggest crowds we've seen in a long time. And for anybody to think that they don't, by showing up to a game that, you know, one or two people, it doesn't matter. If everybody thought that, that we'd have nobody. So um, that plays into everything. I mean, that was a huge advantage for us. Um, you know, it, it, we don't have school tomorrow. We don't have school on Friday. Um, so I'm hoping that we can still get that student body there. We can still get the crowd there and, and really make an impact you know, in terms of the environment and make it uh, a hostile environment for Sierra as much as possible and, and a good one for us with that crowd. We need that, that playoff, uh, that championship crowd that we had on Friday. We need that throughout the playoffs. Excellent.